The guys have been pretty good this season. How do you like? How do you kind of keep them moving in the right, the right direction to where there's no steps back? I mean, they still got a lot of work to do. And, you know, there's a bunch of new guys in the room. Um, yeah, we've, we've had some production the last couple of games, but still, I mean, you turn the film on Sundays, there's a lot to correct, there's a lot to clean up. So whether it's just route detail, uh, assignment, alignment, um, you know, I, and I think they know that if they don't get the job done, there's, you know, three, four guys behind them ready and eager to be on the field as well. So. Seems like every game, you just you don't know who it's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, how do you make sure, like, if, if it's not one of those guys today, how do you keep them kind of locked in? Uh, you know, I think that's the, the unique thing about the room is, you know, they're all excited about each other's success. You know, you turn the tape on, you watch Barry on score a touchdown the other night, and you can see uh, six and two running after him, you know, excited as heck uh, to, to see their buddy in the end zone. So um, I think they're just, it's a unique group where they all just love each other. And, um, you know, yeah, because, you know, you know, Dane didn't have, you know, a Dane night, you could say, you know, he's... Um, he could have if he pulled that one ball in, but um, you know, but he was just excited for those other guys to, to go show out. And it, in the long run, it's going to help because when you line up and play, you know, if you got three guys out there that can all go off in a, in, in a game, then you don't know who to cover, you don't know who to you know look at and, and you know um, you know focus on as a defense. So what's, it helps. What stuck out the most to you to that um, Ole Miss is secondary on tape? Uh, there's a lot of them out there. You know, they play like a three-two-six defense, so there's they, they play with a lot of DBs on the field, which which means there's a lot of speed on the field. You know, and um, you know there, there's a lot of quality players back there that have played in the past. There's a, there's a couple of newcomers there, but uh, the experience is there, and uh, they're fast, they're physical, and they can cover. Mark last week challenged those guys to be better at blocking, not just catching. Yeah. So what was it like when you turned on the tape? They passed uh, muster? No, yeah, they were they were okay. You know, obviously again still some things to clean up. I think in the Youngstown game there's a lot there were some critical errors in the game that um, forced some some bad plays on our part. Um, there weren't any critical errors in last week's game um, against Northern Illinois, but um, there was some you know some technique issues and, and some uh, um, not really assignment issues, but um, you know some aiming point issues and all that. But they, they, they were physical and, and they uh, gave max effort. I know you strive to be perfect in, in games, but always aren't going to be. But what what does it give you when you know that you've got that explosive ability that you don't have to be perfect and you still have a guy to make a play almost any time? Yeah, you know you strive to be perfect, but you know in my what is it, 13 years of coaching, I've yet to grade a kid at 100% in the game. You know, so um, you know you always strive for perfection, but it does help when you got um, you know guys at any time the ball's thrown their way, it could go for six points, you know? Um, as soon as that ball was thrown to Barry on, the, on the, that dig route, I knew it was six. Like, there's not, nobody's going to catch him, you know? And uh, you could see Tavion. Tavion knew it right as the, he turned around. He, Tavion actually did a great job getting the safety out of the window so he could throw that ball. You know, that's another thing that our guys do. They take, you know, for the love of the game routes. They, Tavion knew he wasn't getting the ball there. He knew he was open up for, um, for Barry on. But as soon as uh, Tavion turned around, he put his hands up because he knew it was six points. You know, and that's the kind of guys we got in the room. But, uh, you know, it is helpful, you know, when you got those guys that, you know, anytime they touch the ball, it could go for six.